Hey guys, Supercoach God here, and today it is my round review. But firstly, 24% of you are subscribed that watch my videos. So bloody subscribe because we are on the road to a thousand and well, 600 first, but a thousand in the future. So subscribe and yeah, let's get into it. So we got a top 15% score this week. <coughs> I apologize for the cough. Um, not specifically ideal, but um, you know what? It's all right. I'm not. I'm not too fussed about a top fifteen percent score. Only down five fifty ranks in the season, so we're up to six thousand nine hundred season rank now. Um, I think we're still looking all right. Just a couple of issues with our team, but yeah. In, in regards mainly to rookies. A couple of premiums are just underperforming at the moment and it's annoying, but we can get over that. So, here we are. Here is the team. So, firstly, James Sisley, we got him in. He did amazing, 172. But unfortunately, it's not going to matter. It's just going to be, what is it, two, two at 86s, really, because he's going to get suspended for a week. So that's definitely not what we wanted. Um, but, yeah, um, carried us to a score this week, I guess. But, yeah, it's just annoying that he's not going to play next week, um, considering... He doesn't have the buy. So, and he's not even injured. He just did a silly act. Uh, I think it was shoulder to the head. Yeah, it's just not ideal. Uh, Jordan Dawson, 593. Uh, K, and he got a 120. So that's that's perfect from Dawson. That could, You can't really ask for any more. Uh, then day cost 124. Same goes. Couldn't ask for any more. Now Sinclair got the 71. It's really not ideal. Uh, three round average of 98.7. Now that's just... Considering he got the 160, that's really poor. An issue with him this week is... Uh, he that he's playing. Uh, next week, sorry. Is he's playing S Sydney, and then he's got Brisbane, which is all right, and oh wait, he's got Brisbane round fifteen and Richmond round thirteen, uh, fourteen, and then he and he's got. A Sydney the week before, so not the best draw in the world, considering he's might cop a tag against Sydney, but uh, we live. Um, Harry Sheasel, I think Sheasel would have been all right. He just got the uh, I think it was HIA, so yeah, um, it's not ideal, but. You know, I don't think it'll be too bad. I think he'll keep going on the par on the good path that he is going on. I think we'll probably hover around five hundred K for the rest of the year, and I think that's all right. So I think we take a ninety five average from Sheasel. Um maybe like a ninety eight average would be nice. If he keeps his average that he has right now, I'll be alright. Uh then Mitchell, he got 69, so turns out he was the pick out of Mitchell and Weddle, if uh, the Duke wanted to know that. So 22 break even. Um, so he's still going to go up in money. That's great. And he's 300k, so perfect. And then Sincotta didn't play and Constable didn't play. 
play. So that, that's just annoying. The amount of DNPs are on my bench. Uh, Bont got the 124. So that was really good. Uh, that's all you can really ask from the Bont. Um, still with that 156 break even because of the price that he is currently up. I don't think we will see him under 600k. The closest probably 615 maybe. Um, but yeah, he's absolutely flying still, so don't don't even care. Uh, Zachy Merrick got the 110. I also captain Bond, so not too bad. Uh, Zachy Merrick 110. So he's been playing really well for us since we got him in really well so we got him in at the 95 oh sorry we got him in and he scored a 162 i believe we can just have a look um yeah we got him in and he's got a one oh and he's got a 162 and a 110. So that's really nice. Uh, if that's, is that right? A 162 and a 110. That's perfect from Merritt. Brayshaw got a 127. So he's actually been doing really well for us. We brought him in perfect timing. We got him at the 88. He got and he got a 134 and a 127. So a 116 three round average. Our trades in terms of premiums have been really good since we picked picked up Will Day at 490k. That was the biggest mistake of our lives. But uh yeah. And then Tom Green, 570k. So he got the 95. I think if he can average 110 for the rest of the year, I'd be very happy. He's very consistent. That was his lowest score of the year. Um, it's just annoying that he, he does get these 90s quite often. Um, we've seen him to go another 120. And he'll be back on the right track. Uh, Will Day 74. So this is just piss poor really. Uh, yeah, not happy with this at all. Um, 116 break even. This pick was the worst thing I've ever done. We got him maybe three weeks ago. Four weeks ago, I think. So, a eight, really like, a, it's probably like an 80 average in the last four weeks. So, not happy at all with that. So, we got, we've got these four scores. It's his second to fifth lower scores of the year, and we've copped them. We didn't cop this, 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 like a lot of other others did. Uh, but yeah. Will Ashcroft, 52. So he's going to go this week. I need, I, I told, I don't know if I told you guys, but I told all my mates, if you get, I'll hold him if he gets an 85, but any less, he's gone, uh, and he's got a 52, so he's got to go. Uh, Atkins, I think we have to hold him for one more week, so he's got a 44 break even, and we just need players to play in this buy because we are not doing too well in regards to this buy. So, and then Sharp, we, so we... Got Johnson 72, and we took Wilmot onto the bench and Sharp on field, so we could get the 72, which was a great decision in the end. So, couldn't be happier with that. Marshall and English in the rucks, uh, that's like, so happy I traded Darcy that long ago. It's worked out perfectly, really. Um, but yeah. Yeah, couldn't be happier. Uh, Dunkley. Got the 146. Uh, yeah, this bloke's about to become M1. Like, this is, this is getting ridiculous. 
three round average of 134, five round of 132. And yeah, he's got like 103s, 109s in that five week period. He's just got like a 149, a 153 and a 146. So hopefully he can keep it up because at the moment he'd be pretty high up there in scoring. And he might actually end up in my midfield by the end of the year by the looks of it. But anyway. Um, Taranto as well, like this guy's just still gunning it. Um, Three round of 118. He had the one poorish score. Apart from that, five round of 122.6. This bloke's a gun. It's unfortunate everyone has him, but yeah. Uh, Errol Goulden, so he got the 93. I think that's all right. Uh, Still got a three round of 115, five round 124. Um... 96 and a 93. Not really going to complain about that. Uh, Rosie, 111. So he's been playing really good footy as well. Five round would probably be really good. Yeah, 111, three round, 118, 1.7. So could not be happy with him. Zebul, um, yeah, it's not ideal. His recent performance. I mean, he still got a five round of 110, but that was with the massive score. Three round of 91, 71, 88, and 114. So I think Aaron Hall's affected his scoring quite a bit. Um, and maybe the fact of a new coach. But yeah, uh, I think we're just going to have to hold him, to be honest. I don't think we can actually do anything. So the amount of trades we have and the fact that we need to get four rookies to premiums uh yeah we still need four premiums in our side plus probably i'd prefer a will day or a zebul uh probably um so then canelio that's fine um He's just playing fine. I don't think there's anything to worry about with Cogs. Um, yeah, we just need to ha- him to have like a massive 150 game, like a, like a 143 or a 136, something like that. Um, just to make people think if they when if they didn't pick him, they got, that they missed out. I mean, you definitely haven't. He's still got a. Is five twelve with a hundred break even. I think people that don't have him aren't going to be crying to get him. Um, and then Van Ruin got the two eighty. Oh, sorry, he's two eighty k. He got a fifty five, so he's got a break even of forty eight. So you can get rid of him this week. I think there's a few other players that need to go before him, considering he can still make money this week. Not much, maybe 5k, but he can still make money, and we need to get every little piece of cash to finish our team. Um, And then Alwyn Davey just got dropped. So, yeah. Um, Yeah, not the greatest of weeks, but I think we did all right. I think we did all right, considering we got the Atkins 28, the Ashcroft 52, when a lot of people traded him out and got Humphrey and he got a 90. Uh, and then Mitchell 69, I think that was good. So, and not many, not everyone has Zebul, by the way. He's not actually that highly owned. So, let's go ahead and do some trades. So, I've had a look before this. Wilmot has, for next week, a 90 break even. So that's not great. So we got to get rid of him. And Ashcroft is going to have, I believe, a 109 break even, if I don't stand corrected. Yeah, 109. So, look, these two have to go. 
I think this is the highest they'll be all year, so that's the first thing we're doing. These two have to go. Um, now, I still don't know whether... To, I think I need to do one more trade, just considering my buy. Now, I'm not bringing McRae, and I'll tell you why. But he's got the round 15 buy. See here it goes 14, 16, then straight to 16. So he's got the round 14 buy. And I don't really want anything to do with that. Um, because my round 15 buy has already destroyed my year. So yeah, we're not going near that. Uh, and yeah, so my thinking is next week, who has the buy? So, uh, we can have a look, I, so let's just go AFL website, matches, fixture, uh, round 12. So, who has the buy? It's only... Oh, sorry, next week. I'm thinking, I need to think of next week. So, it is literally just the Suns and Geelong. So, we need a premium that is going to play in that week, I think. Because our whole team is, like, completely filled, apart from Atkins, who will get rid of next week. But, um, yeah, let's just have a look at who we can get. So, I think the main person I'm going to get, what did Angwin score to get him relevant? It's weird. Uh, no, I want to go all coaches. So, we want, where is he? Um, oh, we got to, okay, so we're going to put, uh, Canelio in the f midfield and we're going to get Ford. So that's the first thing we are also going to get in. And then we are going to get in. Now, this is probably a bit debatable, but we're doing it. Um, wait, let's see, see if there's any. Okay, so this is what we're doing. Briggs. Briggs is coming in. Now, why is this? Because we need him for the buys. It's as simple as that. Um... Yeah, I don't... We're going to keep Nick Madden still because he's 102k and there's no point even thinking about getting rid of him. But, uh, yeah. And then... I think if Sincotta doesn't play, we're going to go Sincotta to Stewart. And I think that is probably our best option. We can also get this Mullen bloke next week so uh the week after sorry so yeah um mullen we don't have to think about for a couple of weeks but if he gets another 60 50 odd he's going to be in heavy consideration at 102k um but yeah so we're going to get in tom stewart and these are just the trades for now if sin cotter doesn't play if Sincotta does play, I think we're going to get who are we going to get out? We might get out we could possibly get out Van Ruin 
move. Uh, no, nah, we need the player for the buy. So uh, I don't think we do a third trade that week. I think we save the cash and just go massive next week if we if Sin Cotter does play because I can't get Sin Cotter out if he's all good if he uh, gets picked. So this is what the team's going to look like going into round 12, most likely. Um, so I think this is actually, it's pretty strong. I don't think it's the strongest thing in the world, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 uh, premiums. So it's not the best thing, but it's just, oh no, sorry, 14 because Sicily. So hopefully Sicily gets let off. We'll just search up if he's all right, if he's uh, going to get destroyed in the... Um, okay, he's been handed a one-match ban. So he can probably try and get off it, but that's very unlikely. He's, he's, he's done the bloke dirty there, I reckon. So, yeah, it is what it is. So we only have two players not playing. in. So we have a 20-man 20, 20 team this week. I think that's that's okay. That's not the worst thing in the world. It's probably all you need. And we're going to do this. So, Melbourne Carlton, there's not really VC from there. Port Hawthorne. See, I would have probably VC'd Sicily, but Collingwood West Coast. So, we can put the VC on Dacos, actually. And then... We can put the C on Dawson or... Oh, wait, what buys Laird got? Nah, I don't want Laird. What's Laird's break even? I, I need him at some point. I just... 88. And he's playing next week and the week... I might have to cop just getting Laird after his buy. It's not ideal. He might be at like 630k, but... I think I have to do it. I need Stuart, I think, this week. He's the most uh, urgent player I need. But, yeah. So, that's the video, guys. I thought, well, C. I think we either see Bond, Stuart, or or we can VC them and, like, C Merritt. Oh, actually, that's a good idea. C Merritt and then go VC on, on Bond at Marvel is... And a bit of a depleted Geelong midfield. So that is that is the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Just to remind you all, I got 2299 this week. And I think I'm doing the three trades if Sincotta doesn't play. So, yeah, there's a few things that just aren't that ideal, but um, that we're going to have to fix. But... At the moment, I'm pretty happy with the trades. I don't know about Briggs just yet. I need to do a bit more research into him. Uh, he has just gone two tons, though, and his break-even is negative 64. But, yeah, just the amount of trades I have, I don't know if I can afford a player like him or go early on Muslin. Um, if only I had a boost, I could go early on Muslin and then get another primo with, like, I don't know, a sh I could literally do a sharp to a primo. So, that's the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and yeah, cheers.